Hello everyone. Welcome to Cypress Automation. This is Sherful. Today we're going to learn a new part of the Cypress. Uh, we'll see the the main Cypress structure component. Okay, so the Cypress structure uh, it depends on some built-in uh, component since it's Cypress based on Node.js. So when you install the Cypress. At that time, it's you know it comes with uh, some built-in some of the component which is the uh, default component, and those are the main structure. Let's get introduced with those component. Here is the you know the number of the component, our uh, structure component is called fixtures, integration, plugins, support, videos, note modules, Cypress JSON, and package JSON. So those are the main component of the Cypress structure. So you have to know in details each and every component does mean what it does, you know, and what uh, reason uh, which component can be used to build your structure, to build your Cypress framework. Okay. So let's see uh, how those uh, component uh, or structure looks like after you install the Cypress on in, in any uh, ID. So this is a VS Code. I'm using a VS Code, but you may use uh, something else. But a VS Code is more preferable for building a, based on, you know, Node.js uh, uh, framework. So uh, this is a VS Code. So after you install the, you know, Cypress, we'll see on, uh, you know, upcoming lecture how you're going to install it. But assume that you know it. So after you install it, you can you will see that those are the main uh, default Cypress uh, structure component comes you know over here in your project. So let's talk about a little bit details. So first one, uh, we'll talk about fixtures. Some of the, some of the you know uh, company you will see uh, it's uh, extra. I'm not going to talk because those are not the directly part of after you uh, when you install the Cypress. You know it's since I have a you know some of the projects, so that's why some of the component is uh, extra. Those are plugin, but so don't worry about it. So let's talk about the the main component of the our structure of the Cypress. So fixtures. So fixtures used to place all the test data for data driven testing that's one of the reason why you know or what case you can use fixtures that's a component over here so when you have a data driven uh, testing say you know your environment variable or uh, your common you know username password or you need to you know set some data you can put on underneath fixture folder you can see over here Next is integration or example integration example folder. So this is one of the very very important you know component or structure of the Cypress because underneath this folder your all of the spec file or your test case file or your JS file is going to be over here. You can see um, uh, you know some of them it's over here example you know the travel spec dot JS. So here is all the you know code. We'll, we'll talk about the format or, or framework of the Cypress on another separate video. This video is all about to just to get introduced about those structure. So here all of the your test cases file or spec file or JS file is going to be over here. So all the test cases you can see some of them you know some of the example test cases uh, I wrote you know test case one two three you know it, since it's based on JS so it's a JavaScript so you have your extension have to be the JS. So your all the actual test cases is going to be over here. You know it could be based on a Mocha or it could be based on a Cucumber also. Okay. So next, next is next is plugins, uh, plugins or index over here plugins. So this component are used to listen Cypress event and do some specific job before or after that event trigger. Uh, if you're familiar with, with Selenium, Selenium oh, we use in a, a listener. So listener, it listen some of the specific event to do some of a specific job. So you know the plugins, it does the similar things. You know it's used to listen Cypress event to do some specific job before or after that event. Uh, uh, you know the event trigger. 
so you you may have a you know some uh, some job that you know you want to clear your cash after run the some of some of the uh, test cases you can put over here okay so need to put all the related codes for doing the job over here so it's it, it is over here okay that comes over here so by default it comes with one of the uh, index JS file uh, you can see you know I uh, I put some of the you know uh, also it it comes with uh, so, uh, the code related with your plugins okay so what if you need any external plugin to build your frameworks so example you know cucumber so because cucumber framework is not a built-in framework that comes or recommend by Cypress but it still is doable that time you need to install some of the external of uh, uh, plugin which is called say Cypress cucumber preprocessor you know, don't worry about that. You know, we'll talk in separate uh, class. You know how we can build a Cucumber framework. Just I'm giving an example. That time, to enable that plugin, you need to do some code, a little bit coding, and that's all the related code comes under plugins folder over here. Next is support. Support used to put all reusable or utilities method for a project. In that case we can directly call any method from support to our test case directly without importing package or object of that class Cypress by default is scan the support folder and can easily find and import any method to use classes so it means over here you know you can see that uh, there's a, a you know couple of more JS files by default it's like command files uh, index files so here you can put some of your reusable code uh, some of the you know um, uh, utility code like in your test framework so you can write some of your own command but it's a reusable say example click on a button so maybe in, in your uh, you know whole test uh, suit you know it's maybe uh, you know hundred times you are going to click on a button definitely it's a very common scenario so you can create a you know separate method over here and you can just call that method the good thing is that you know if you have a reusable uh, function that you can use in your test cases over here you don't have to what usually you need to do if you have a uh, some function in in separate class and if you want to re, you know call that class in your test classes you have to create an object of that class and then use the object reference call that method right so but if you put the, the, here is the difference using the reusable method uh, or code in support folder you know uh, so if you put any function in support folder that time you don't have to create any object reference for that class to call that any specific method because support is a built-in component of Cypress so every time we execute the Cypress code it's automatically scan this folder and see if there are any code over here so if you use any one of the code any function in underneath the support folder in your test cases that time you don't have to create an object of that call of that uh, function you don't have to import the package all you can you can directly call that function in your test cases because Cypress execution you know you know during the Cypress execution Cypress automatically scan on fly the execution time this support folder so that's one of the benefit using reusable or utility uh, uh, method underneath the support folder I hope you know you got a uh, some some sort of idea and next is video so video is a store videos for all of the test execution this is one of the you know very cool features of Cypress you can see you know over here there is a one mp4 file already created so it's a uh, none of other uh, tools uh, UI tools that can give you that kind of features that's you know it's uh, enable you to uh, record automatically it's a record or create a video your execution test case execution videos over here and it's part of um, um, you can say um, we'll talk later on but just for now just get understand that you know this folder will help you to store your execution uh, video related so it's help you to debug if your test cases fail you can just you know launch the video and you can see that's you know uh, where it was the fail 
so it's really helpful features like a screenshot you know the video is much more better than even a screenshot right because you can see each and every steps that's execution going on and where it's filled okay and next is node modules so this will create when we install Cypress so you know when you install the Cypress all you have to just uh, you know type npm install so install uh, so it will install the Cypress and and dot it will create a in a node module this uh, mm, you know this folder and underneath you will see lots of some other folder one of the important folder is called that bin folder so this folder will have all that you can see lots of other steps right you can see mocha you know a lot of others uh, other files so what does it mean this dot bin folder so this dot bin folder will have all the cypress command cypress it comes building lots of its uh, own package and own uh, command right and that's uh, one of the uh, interesting part when you do automation code you know you are going to use 90% uh, the code is scripting based on Cypress built-in command so you know so you have to know very well Cypress uh, you know the command so all the command it comes from where this command when you write any Cypress command how Cypress understand that this is the Cypress you know the built-in command you're writing what does it mean like you know dot click you know dot add so all those things that there's a you know means something uh, all what does it when you say dot click it means you click some on element some of the element so w how the click function or click command understand this is means that you know clicking uh, activities it comes from dot bin folder so all the Cypress in you know, a command it's uh, written and it's it comes from the idea from over here in underneath dot bit folder so without a node module folder in fact you know you will not able to execute your uh, your your uh, Cypress command your Cypress uh, uh, in a script so so it's kinda you can say uh, it's a dot bin folder this for fo uh, this folder is kinda hard of Cypress if you use npm to install Cypress has now been installed you know you'll see that's uh, the directory will create it as I said and then underneath you will see exactly all those uh, subfolder uh, and including dot bin folder and then next is Cy uh, cypress uh, uh, dot json let's see the cypress dot json folder right okay cypress json okay cypress dot json folder um, is used to store um, it's used to put all the configuration in configuration info informational uh, like in your uh, test runner I mean you will see I mean over here uh, you will put all the information related uh, your configuration like a uh, settings Cypress is comes with uh, some built-in uh, by default settings information say you know uh, your default command timeout you know how long you wanna put there is a some you know will will show uh, later on another video there is one of the Cypress uh, cool features uh, uh, it's called test runner in the test runner it shows all the built-in you know uh, uh, configuration set settings up there but if you wanna uh, override say page load timeout right I put over here you can see uh, uh, 20 uh, seconds so but by default page load timeout settings is not 20 seconds so if you want to override the default settings you know uh, you can write all of your configuration settings over here so it will override the built-in one as I said the where is the built-in one built-in one it's uh, underneath a test runner features will will show you know uh, in our upcoming next lecture you know we'll, we'll have a separate video for test runner and other component but you know but Cypress as I'm saying Cypress comes with the built-in uh, configuration settings so if you want to override you can put all of your override you know uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the Cypress command as you wish okay if you want to ignore any test file you can you know come put it over here so this will you know when you execute your your test cases you know this will have the higher priority than the Cypress built-in configuration setup so you can put your environment URL you can see over here so and you can call this URL this variable in your test cases 
okay so any other configuration related to your framework the way you want the loading times you know so all those things your environment variable you can put it over here underneath cypress.json file and last and finally the package.json file so package.json file um, it's used to used to store or save all the dependency like uh, if you're familiar um, uh, if you're familiar with the selenium selenium it comes with a pom.xml file so pom.xml file what it does is it store all the dependency related like plugin dependencies and uh, you know your uh, uh, language like a java or other dependency you know all those dependency it's up there so similarly package.json file over here you will put all of your dependency that you need to execute your Intuit framework so it could be related to some plugin it could be related with some of the report it could be related you know some uh, other uh, you know uh, uh, scripting command uh, whatever you need okay so all the dependency have to be listed in package jar JSON file so this is very important you know so if you need any depend any dependency it have to be mentioned in this underneath this package JSON file okay so uh, pretty much I would say that's all the main component for the Cypress structure so without those you know the component touching you know uh, or were working uh, you can uh, build your firmware and you know so you have to be know very well all those you know the, the components uh, the default component for Cypress structure I hope that you get a some sort of idea so that you know moving forward when you're going to write some script you know where we will do some testing some build some into in framework you will understand that why you know I'm putting all the dependency in a package or JSON you know why I'm putting all the configuration related uh, you know stops underneath uh, Cypress or JSON file you know now you will be no okay so I hope this uh, this will help and uh, stay tuned uh, or more uh, tutorial is coming thanks a lot and uh, see you in the next tutorial